Have you ever imagined a world where every member of your family lives forever? Where all your worries would pass because of your guaranteed health and the fact that every organ of yours could be replaced by a similar one, actually nearly the same. But is it possible? When you think about a printer, you often think about paper, ink, and a big machine. And well, that's really what a printer is, is what most of us have at home. But the printer I'm talking about is something more exciting, three-dimensional, and the best way to print any models or projects. I'm talking about a 3D printer. From the, beginning of the, uh, from the beginning of the 21st century, researchers from all around the world have been working on making people without hands or legs dreams come true. One of those people was John Nihal, who, when barely a teenager, was forced to become a child soldier. He spent four years fighting with guns too heavy for him to hold, and one dreadful night, while on a night patrol, he lost both of his hands. A researcher called Jorge Zuniga had the innovative idea to print John both of his hands. Although they were prosthetic, it was what he wanted. They managed perfectly well. Not only accidents cause these effects, many people are born without hands or legs. So let's say this is one of the bonuses that a 3D printer has, but our main objective now is how 3D printing can help people live longer. It is estimated that every year, 10 million people die because of antibiotics or medicine that have shown negative results on them. Every 20th antibiotic or medicine that gets passed through animal tests does not make it pass through human tests. This is because six out of eight people who test those antibiotics or medicine have serious results with their organs afterwards. This is why scientists and researchers are working together to produce something that they call a cell gel. This cell gel will 3D print organs. The cell gel is made out of living organs. First, the 3D printer will be programmed by programmers working with scientists. Then, the, uh, then uh, the cell gel will be inserted into the 3D printer distributor. Then, the 3D printer will print as it was programmed to, and the last step is very simple. The scientists or doctors need to only wash the organ. This process is very simple, and it will save many lives. For example, if you smoke, this is a great bonus for you. Later or earlier, you will have problems with your lungs. This is how a smoker's lungs look like. This is not a worry for you then, because your lungs can be instantly replaced by 3D printed ones. But not only those things are matter. People are born without some organs that do not work. And this is why this is a bonus. So, have all your medical related worries passed? Maybe not, but please remember, a 3D printer is not some software metal, and maybe perhaps the cell gel is what some will call the lifesaver. Thank you.